Well, Willie, it seems to have flown by, but it's three months that you've been with us here at Southampton. Just how much have you enjoyed your time here so far? Uh, so far, it's incredible because the welcome that I received from the from the lads, from the from the staff, and from the whole club, uh, it was fantastic and it made me easy to 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 adapt so quickly. How did the move come about for you? Well, it was. Uh, uh, extremely fast, easy to, to take the decision because you know I love football. I love to be involved in a changing room, in a in games, in in a club, and uh, I am I am really happy to be, to be here, and uh, and I am enjoying every every single day. How difficult was it, especially in that first week, to to join a club and five days later be making your debut? Is it difficult to to get to know the place and, and know the people that you're working with? After seven years in, in Premier League, or even if you play in another in another country, you know the players. So it's not it's not easy. It's not about that. It's just uh, be back in the routine of training, of um, and playing and living living again the, that that situation. I really enjoyed that because uh, it wasn't a it wasn't an easy decision. So I accepted and I, and I and I took it because I think it was the best for for myself and for my family. It wasn't long before that you had a Champions League medal around your neck. You're then a training at AFC Wimbledon in League One. It says a lot about you, right, that you're still hungry to be here at this level. I left Chelsea because I didn't feel the, this kind of, of challenge. I didn't want to be a, a third goalkeeper with, with no challenge at all, just supporting the team or, or training or something like that. I was looking for for some new, new challenges or some you know, a new movement, a new uh, club or a new league or something like that. And uh, in here or, or even in Spain or, or something like that. In terms of, uh, you know, transfer windows and so on, it's not when you want to play, it's when there is a place. We see it a lot now in modern football that managers tend to have a, a cup goalkeeper, if you like. I know you've had that role in the past. How difficult is that mentally, preparing for games that you know might be two weeks away but you know in your mind that that will be one that you'll be between the sticks for? Every time is a manager decision. Sometimes they just trust in, in one goalkeeper, sometimes they trust in two, sometimes other manager trust in three goalkeepers for different competition. And in our life as a goalkeeper we have to understand that and we, we can prepare um, every week as we, we are going to play. Uh, that is the mentality of the, of the goalkeeper. And in terms of yourself now, I know you're fully focused on, on what's happening here with Southampton, but have you thought much about what life will be like for you after football? Well, yes, I've, I've been thinking a lot. Uh, I, I've been uh, doing my, my UEFA relation of goalkeeper coach. That can be a, a good start. Um, training goal, with goalkeepers can, can be a, a good start, a good to get involved, or still be involved in football and, and to develop goalkeepers will be will be fantastic for me. And talk to me a little bit about Opon as well, which is a social media platform that I know you're involved with. It's a great, great app. Uh, the bullying in social media is, is so nasty and it's not a legal weapon to 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 fight with him. So Opon Opon can be a, a very good gun uh, to fight with against this in which uh, every, every person and every user has to verify uh, its account. Yourself having been in dressing rooms for a number of years, what are the effects of that abuse sometimes? Because I think sometimes people send things on social media and, and don't see the impact that it has on individuals. Uh, first of all, it depends on how strong you are, how strong is your mentality, but if it doesn't affect you, affect your family. So that's the, 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 the most important thing. I, I have lived uh, a very tough moment after the, the World Cup with my, my family uh, and uh, this chance, this opportunity with Open can help a lot to, to find solution for, for, for players to just uh, dedicate himself to play football. It can be bully about performance, it can be racism, it can be a lot of things and we can, we can fight together against this.